if you missed last night's Wednesday night show, you missed a lot. Uh, we talked about TikTok, and I know I'm in the minority, um, but I'm, uh, I, I wasn't sure where I stood until last night. I had two people, I invited two guests on that have opposite views, but are usually on the same side, and I both... I respect their commitment, uh, both of them, to the Constitution. One of them is Chip Roy, the congressman from Texas, and the other is Thomas Massey. Thomas uh, from Kentucky, he is he's libertarian um, and always concerned about things like the Patriot Act, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, but so is Chip Roy. But Chip is also very concerned about our security and China. He knows what we're facing. I agree with both of them on why this is an important issue. So last night, I had them debate each other, go back and forth. And, oh man, it was so refreshing to see pe- three people talk about something that we disagree on, but nobody became disagreeable. I mean, we're like, yeah, okay, I really see your point on this one. It was really, it's something that we just don't have enough of. Um, and and last night they debated it. Massey was against and Chip Roy was for. In fact, he sponsored the TikTok banning bill. What uh, what was the result of this? Was there, was there a unanimous decision, a split decision at the end? How did this come out? No, no. Yeah, they they both stayed in their position, um, and I was looking for help because I, you know, I I read the bill. We went over a lot of it last night, uh, line by line, and there's some th- disturbing things in there. Um, yeah, for instance, uh, let me just go through some of this. This is the Protecting Americans from Foreign Adversary Controlled Applications Act. Wow. Um, If you look at Section 2 under Foreign Adversary Controlled Application, uh, it shows that it's not just a phone app. It's individual websites could also be seized. That makes sense. But supporters of this bill point out that it's just foreign adversary apps and the website, that it doesn't, that it specifically points out foreign adversary controlled all throughout the bill. Well, that's a little vague, because when you say they're controlled by a foreign adversary, we have been accused of being for, uh, you know, uh, controlled by Russia, Israel, uh, who else is, have we been, you know, people said, well, oh, they're yeah. controlled by a foreign adversary. Well, whoever is convenient um, at the time. But I mean, there, in theory, yes. there's only the four... In, that are li- labeled in this bill, which are North Korea, China, Russia, and Iran. But so Israel wouldn't apply, okay. but Russia would. So listen, what they said about Donald Trump when he went to North Korea. He's being controlled by a foreign. He's he's in with North Korea and Russia. When Tucker Carlson went to Russia, how many people said he's just a pawn for Putin? Well, does that mean that Tucker Carlson, if the president, because he's the one who decides, if the president decides that you're being controlled by a foreign adversary, does that mean Tucker Carlson can just go away? I mean, I don't, a really direct I don't like example that at all. of this would be Truth Social, right? I mean, they claim Donald Trump is a Russian asset and it has been a Russian asset yes. since the 1980s. Uh, Correct, And he basically owns a very large chunk of Truth Social. And that's one of the things that made me nervous about the bill is that one section that tries to define what a foreign adversary is, where it obviously like if the Chinese government were to own a company, okay, that makes sense. If a Chinese foreign national owns a company that and they answer to the to the Chinese Communist Party, that would make sense and be obvious. But there's a a, a third section. And maybe you guys went over this last night. That kind of hits a person who is a U.S. citizen that is, quote unquote, controlled by yes. a foreign entity, right? Controlled. Yes, it is. If, if I'm quoting, if determined by the president to be a, a present threat to the national security of the United States, um, a threat to national security. What what does what does that mean? And a threat to national security just in the last year, we've heard 
Election deniers are a threat to our democracy. Vaccine deniers, Christian nationalists, climate deniers, all of these are a threat to national security. So uh, uh, in the end, when it says you, um, you, you're you hostile to what? we're People who believe in the Constitution are called hostile to the government. We're trying to overthrow the government. No, we're not. We're trying to stop you from overthrowing the government. We believe in the Constitution. So you're, you're a foreign adversary. Okay. Now, there's the... There's a term called the covered company that doesn't include an entity that operates a website, desktop application, mobile application, or augmented or immersive technology application whose primary purpose is to allow users to post reviews, product reviews, business reviews, or travel information and reviews. Now, is Yelp in the middle of a sale to communist China? Who who had the juice to put this in? One of the co-sponsors was Chip Roy. And I said, Chip, who put that in? He said, I don't have any idea. But one of the co-sponsors, and I think there were 20 of them, had somebody call up and say, hey, I, I want this language in there. So what website is worried about their product reviews or travel information being deemed a threat to the United States of America. Because it's not just, you know, an entity controlled. It's an entity controlled by uh, a, a country that we're at war with, and they are a threat to our national security. So, I mean, is the Yelp review a threat to our national security? I don't think so. And if so. so, that really is a little frightening. That is does really pop up some interesting questions though right like obviously who yes put this in is interesting i don't know what it means exactly like i don't i don't exactly i want to know what i wanted to know last night was why was so somebody so concerned about their review site Hmm. that they wanted it written in because we've been told this is only for sites like bite dance tiktok okay and uh, and when you see, and we showed it last night, who really owns ByteDance and TikTok? How, how is that structure built? It is absolutely insane. So they could sell it to yet another entity. Right. And, you know, and, and get around all of it. This is crazy. Here's, here's the last segment and where I ended up last night. This is from last night's Blaze TV Glenn Beck Wednesday night special. We are at war. We are a nation at war. We're at war with other countries. We're at war with China and the Communist Party, absolutely. We are fighting a proxy war, which could very well become a, uh, a hot war with Russia and could become a world war, the way things are stacking up. But we're also at war with big tech. We're at war with communism and fascism in our own country, being taught to our children in our own schools. We're at war with our own intelligence community and justice department. And it's not just our justice department and intel, it's the five eyes all over the world. We are at war with the corporate oligarchs, the politicians and the elites all over the world, from the UN to the WEF, to hell, I don't even know. Is the Chamber of Commerce any good anymore? But most important, we are at war with ourselves. We don't know who we are anymore. We're losing our country because we lost our values. And when you lose your values, you lose history because it has no meaning anymore. What were you really fighting for? And is that worth it? And because we lost our values, we lost our history. You lose your history, you lose your traditions. You lose your traditions, you lose your family. And in the end, you lose yourself. I honestly think that's where we are. We're damn close to that, if not already past it. You're not going to repair this uh, country by giving more power to a government that only seeks more power. 
You've got to empower the people. Somehow or another, we need to, as people, care what is happening to our children. And I say this with the understanding of what I told you at the beginning. Even my own family rolls their eyes at me. I know. I know. I keep coming back to the founders. Without a religious and moral people, this system is wholly inadequate. We're not those people anymore. Doesn't mean we can't be. But right now, there are remnants of those people. Because we're fighting this war on every single front, I, I'm against the TikTok ban. I, I, I so trust Chip Roy. I love Chip. And I trust him. He's a constitutionalist. He's a Texan from 1853. I mean, don't mess with a Texan. But I don't trust the people around him. And a government that is seeking more and more power and more and more control and is not already in bed with uh, giant corporate tech and China and a government that doesn't seem to care about its people over oligarchs and, you know, the rich, and the corporations, the lawyers. I can't give any more power. And I won't give any more power to a president that doesn't defend the Constitution at all costs. And I haven't seen them in quite a while. So that's where I came down. I don't know where you're going to come down on this, but I think this is a very important question. Again, because uh, this is all the stuff they said about the Patriot Act. It'll never be used against you. And I said, all they have to do is change the definition of extremist, and they can absolutely turn this on you. Yes, but they won't. They have. Yeah, it's they a, have. It's a fascinating one. They've done it many times, right? And, uh, you know, I don't know. You look at this and you just say, well, like for example, the Ford and adversary thing we were talking about earlier, a, uh, a U.S. citizen that's quote unquote controlled by a foreign adversary. You can see there would be all sorts of problems with that. And you can rewrite that, right? You could change that. You could pull that out of the bill. But if you do that, it's not effective, right? Because then China could just pay, you know, a hundred million dollars to some U.S. citizen to run their thing, and I'm sure there'd be no way of actually tracking whether it was still controlled by the Chinese government. At the end of the day, yeah, well, I mean, it's not going to be effective. And I, you know, I don't know when it comes down to a, a decision that's close. I just don't want to give the government any more power. Amen. And I got to tell you, controlled by a foreign adversary, China. Well, I could make that case, and we made it yesterday in Congress. Well, you make that case about the Biden family and the White House. It's, it's, a, it's being controlled by a hostile foreign power, and they're doing its bidding. 